Ace. You're trying to set up headless settings for your Wix website? Well, in this video, we're going to show you the Wix settings to get to the headless settings for your Wix website page. So, with that being said, we're just going to hop right into it. Let's go. Boom. So, you pretty much are just going to go to your uh, Wix Studio and hit settings and go to headless settings, right? And once you hit headless settings, you'll see where you can put in your authentication. Uh, authorization author blah, 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 blah. OAuth apps right I won't say it's authorization but O authorization apps but essentially allows you to link other apps or other APIs to your website and back and forth this is a way more advanced technique uh, and I, I can't say I know a lot about it this was more this this lesson is more in the case of if you didn't know about it this is where you find it. So with that being said, you'll find it in your Wix settings. If you go to settings, you'll see headless settings and you can go to where you can start to add your APIs and do these uh and create a authorized uh authorized app, right? So again, you'll name the app, give it a description, and let's see, let's just app. Let's just create one, right? Real quick. Let's see what we get. You give it a description, it gives you a client ID. You see, you uh, link your domain, direct domains, right? Again, it, this is a sen I would say this is essentially like if you have a web, one website and you're trying to embed it inside of your own website. This is how you would set that up. This is how you would set the key up to do that. I know this is a, a, a more of an advanced thing that I've never done before. I'm be totally honest with you, I've never done before. But again, it's similar to a, a lot of the other different applications that if you want to interact with one website on another website, you would set up a, some type of key that communicates between the two websites. So if one thing changes on this site, it'll update that site. So again, if you have a website and you get an authorization key from one site, then it'll update the site that you are working on. A good example of that uh, is, I can remember back when Instagram used to be like this, and sometimes it is like that, especially when I was working at WordPress, but you would need the authorization token or the token to actually be able to, to, to post your, your, your Instagram feed. So as you update your Instagram feed, it will be on your website. So again, it's kind of like setting up that authorization where it can show it to your to your website. Again, that's that's the best example I could give right now. But that's how exactly how you get to that. This is this is how you would get to that right here. And if you are familiar with that, then pretty much you've already you know exactly where to go. So boom, there it is. You got to see how to do the headless settings or set up your authorization app, your keys and tokens and things like that, or how to have two, two different applications communicate with, web apps communicate with each other, how to set that up, uh, a custom setup for your actual website. So with that being said, hey, if, if, you, if you know about that, then, you know, after that, it's up to you. You, the sky's the limit as far as where you can go with your authorization app. So with that being said, hopefully you found value in this. Make sure you like this, share, subscribe for the future videos, and we will see you all in the next lessons. Lady y'all, peace.